the definition. It should be done. And there was, as you know, an assault weapon ban for 10 years from 1994. And you yourself, though, you yourself said that that actually didn't have very, any overall effect on the crime rate. There have been numerous it studies did not, that it did that. not illumin You're it did not, that. It did not eliminate that, but there actually have been studies that showed it did have an effect on this. I want to bring up from the University of Massachusetts researcher Larry, Louis uh, Clareva shows that, look at that right there. From 1984 to mm -hmm. 1994, you had 19 incidents, 155 deaths. Then, 1994 to 2004, it goes down. 12 incidents, only 89 deaths. The ban expires. We see the, we see the casualties go way up again. And there are also studies that show, and you yourself have acknowledged before previously, just a couple of years ago. Not perfection, that, absolutely. That it, it did not have much of an effect on the crime rate. Furthermore, But it does crime, have an effect look, on, but, the, on but the lethality of mass shootings. I want to point this shootings. out, George. I want to, I want to point this out, though. 3%, only 3% of homicides in the United States actually are carried out with rifles. The highest number actually goes in with handguns. And these are illegally possessed by repeat offenders because these people keep getting and, slaps and, on and, their and wrists. No one's but saying here's the this bigger is gonna, point, Let me just, excuse me for a second. No mm -hmm. one's saying this is going to eliminate every single killing. But we do know we're the only country that has wide access to these kind of weapons and no one else has the frequency or the intensity That's actually of these kind of true. mass shootings that we That's do. actually not true. That is France true. had a higher in one year than the entire two administrations of Barack Obama and they're a fifth.